Obama has had a great week with two recent polls showing a lead of more than 10 points over McCain. But even as the advantage widens, the atmosphere in the blogging community has grown noticeably chillier because of the FISA bill. This bill makes much of Bush's illegal wiretapping legal, and it provides a circuitous but effective immunity for the phone companies for helping the government spy on whoever it wanted. Obama has been on the right side of this issue until now. In January, he actually co-sponsored an amendment that would kill the immunity provision. But a few days ago, he said, I support the compromise, but do so with a, you know, a firm pledge that as president, I would uh, carefully monitor the program. Let's just call this what it is, shall we? This sounds like something George Bush would say. Just give me the power. I'm not going to do anything with it. I just need it. I just need it. Senator Obama, your support of warrantless surveillance on the grounds that it is some sort of compromise with the Republicans is not what I expect from a professor of constitutional law such as yourself. Salon's Glenn Greenwald has been leading the charge against this legislation vigorously, rallying the Netroots community and raising quite a lot of money for an unspecified future campaign to tarnish the Democrats who support this legislation and replace them with better Democrats. In fact, there is one good thing about this situation. Glenn's activism has been backed up by blog after blog after blog, raising the banner of opposition and separating themselves from the party leadership. That's important because the progressive net roots is best when it's more of a spur and less of a cheerleader. The only hope for our cause right now is in a filibuster by the progressive Democrats, Russ Feingold and Chris Dodd against their own party leadership. By the time you see this, the moment of truth may have come and gone. Let me just say this. I am a microcosm of an entire class of people. I set aside a donation for Barack Obama that I would give him by the end of June because I wanted him to have a big June, a big first month in the general campaign, and a big end to the second quarter. If this bill passes, Barack is going to have to share my money and that of many other people like me with those campaigns that will force the party to act like Democrats. In other words, if he won't lead them, then we have to push them. Joe Felice, Air America Media.